coffee. Oh, you good? <laughs> Welcome back to another scooter video. So today I'm at Black Rock right now, but uh, I'll be teaching you guys how to bri flip. But we're not gonna be at Black Rock for the bri flip. We're gonna be at Radnor because the GoPro messed up when we were at Radnor. So I have to remake this intro. So make sure to like and subscribe. I'm gonna be teaching you all the tips and tricks to learn a bri flip the easiest way possible. I'm gonna have a timestamp on the screen right here, so you could go directly to the tutorial. But I have some riding clips right now. So yeah, hope you like the tutorial. Guys, did you see? I don't know if you've seen it in Roma's videos, but uh, Squirt uh, painted his deck. Look at this thing. Pretty good. Kind of sick. Bro, it's so windy. Perfect. Big air. Oh, I missed out. 270. All right. Manual. All right. Double whip now. Okay. All right, triple whip now. Caught it, mega high. Bar flip. <laughs> nope. Look at this hole. Bar flip. flip. Alright, right, right. drop, bro. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that smack. I caught that thing. Good job. Double it. No. Second up. We'll get inward and brag flip on the hip. That was honestly kind of nasty, but I'm gonna roll with it. We'll get inward now. Hopefully first try. Let's get a cold one. I'm actually booty cheeks right now. Oh my god, I was scared I was gonna hit that kid. Nope! Alright, let's go into the bright flip tutorial. Three, two, one. Next try, next try, right here, right here. Now. Right now. Oh. Yes! Hey. All right, enough with that foolery. Um, we're gonna teach you the bri flip right now. This is the easiest way, okay? If you watch this video, follow all the steps I'm showing you, you'll land it next time you go to skate park, okay? So follow these simple steps and you got it. All right, first step you want to start off with uh, learning your bride flip. You want to get like a decent sized quarter pipe. I'd say like anything five feet and above is probably like really good to learn it on because you don't want to learn it on something really small because that makes it very, very hard to learn. You can still learn it on, but like it requires a lot more like strength and like it's very hard to learn it, okay? Once you find a good sized quarter, you want to come at it with good speed, okay? Like you got to know how to air obviously first because you need to know how to do an air to do the bride flip. We're going to do an air real quick to show you guys what that looks like. That's how you air. Um, you don't have to go that high. I would suggest you have to go above coping for this because when you do this trick, you want to go all the way up. And once your front wheel hits coping, that like pops around faster because if you can see, it jets out a little bit right here. So uh, that will make your wheel go up. Once you know how to like air and stuff like that, you want to work on the motion. All right, so before you do it on the quarter pipe, you obviously got to know the motion. So, so if you're goofy, like your point, like your feet point left of the deck, you're goofy. If you're regular, your feet point right of the deck, okay? So some people learn like oppo bries, like it's just awkward for them. Like they do it the opposite way where it's backside. The easiest way is to learn it is front side. So if you're goofy, you turn your bars 90 degrees clockwise. So your left hand is up front here and your right hand's back here. If you're regular, you wanna turn them counterclockwise 
where your right hand's in front and your left hand's right here. So once you've established if you're goofy or regular or not, turn your bars, okay, the way I told you to, and you wanna pull straight up, okay? Just pull straight up like that, okay? Cause that's how you get it up in the air, be up here, and then all you gotta do is pull it down, okay? Sometimes I see kids that just go like this, and it goes like that, and the bracket flip doesn't work. So you wanna bring it up here, and then once your deck is probably like right here, you wanna push your hand that was out front right here, you will push that out as hard as you can. So then it really pulls it around really fast like that. And over time, you just gotta keep practicing the motion. Just keep like going in your driveway. That was an umbrella, that's not the video. Just wanna keep going like this. Do that in your driveway, keep practicing, keep perfect it. And uh, then you take it to a skate park, we're the quarter right here, and uh, then you perform it, okay? Gotta get those pumps there. You just gotta do it once. Yeah, that's a good way to practice the motion without like doing the trick actually, just to like form the motion better. Now they can be a little bit difficult for some people. It took me like three weeks, I think it took me to first land it. It was so ugly. I'll play the clip right now. And like now I'm like really good at him. I could catch him. Hugo can do that too. Yeah, but, um, I learned them in but it's I learned them in 15 minutes. Yeah, he's just that pro. That's because I just practiced the motion like all day in my big driveway though. The other tip is you have to quarter isn't super steep. You have to jump out a lot, which gives you more air time and it allows you to like launch it up. Yes. Oh, you good, bro? Yeah. This hair is still perfectly fine, bro. It's a Lego piece. Hope you guys um, can do the bride flip. Just keep watching this video over and over again. Make sure to like, subscribe. All right, see you guys next time. Later.